Well, not non-existent. Uh, it's it's offered <laughs> and it is sold uh, by those agents licensed by the federal government. That's another thing people don't understand is that uh, you know there's not a, a flood insurance store where you can go and get a competitive rate. It's not like you know State Farm gives you one rate, Allstate gives you another, and you know uh, Progressive gives you a third be because you put a little device in your car. Um, it, it's it's all the same. It's based on what kind of coverage do you want. Um, I have flood insurance on my on my uh, townhouse, and it's rented, but I have it for contents, um, and that's. You know, just a, it's just a smart thing to do because I, I practice what I preach and I tell people if you have, if you live at an elevation of 15 feet, 15 feet or below, all right, you would do well to, to cover yourself with flood insurance. It's not that terribly expensive. Tell me, what are you at? I'm at nine. I'm at nine Harbor Heights, but I'm in the red. And you have flood insurance. I'm in the red. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, you say absolutely. Yeah. Tommy, check with your neighbors and find out. Only about 40% yeah. of our residents yeah. um, have it who should. Now, you you, well, you, you own your house, right? Uh, you, yes. No. Well, you have a mortgage? I have a mortgage. Oh, well, then so they're you're, required. So it's then mandatory. You're, yeah, yeah, then you're so required. Without mortgages. That's the problem we have run into exactly. for the 40 years that we've been here, yep. okay? Yep. People sell their family homestead back up north. I don't care where it is. And, right. and it's worse when they're from the Midwest because flood insurance, unless you live in the Mississippi or the Missouri River Basin, you, you, you have no knowledge of flood yeah. insurance. Right. And they sell the family homestead or sold back in the day. They sold it. They came down here with oodles of money, right? Paid cash, cash money, all right, paid cash for the house. Yep. So nobody told them you have to have flood insurance. They'd go over to the car dealership you know, why do you think places like, uh, you know, Charlotte County, Ford, and Palm, Sh and all the Palm, Auto, Mall, all, why do you think they've been there forever? Because that's the, the scenario. Mm -hmm. Furniture stores the same way. Then they go buy fr Florida furniture because they didn't bring all the family stuff they gave to family. All right? So all this stuff, and then buy the house, and flood insurance? Are you kidding me? Because the first question they'd ask their neighbors is, when's the last time this place flood? Never. They had a hurricane back in 60, but yeah, there was no flooding in that. And as we move forward, you'll hear the tales about Hurricane Charlie, and there was no flooding in that. So we've had two, we've actually had three major hurricanes, okay? You had Donna, Charlie, Wilma in southwest Florida, yep. as Wilma was southwest Florida, right. but none of the urban corridors, Fort Myers, Naples, Sarasota, Punta Gorda, I want to call it that. We are a statistical metropolitan, standard metropolitan well, area. Venice, Venice, Sarasota, nothing. No one has had a storm surge event other than Gabrielle, which was four days after 9-11. Now, and that wasn't the best time in the world to have a, a storm surge event. Exactly, but if we, if we can take the pictures that were taken of that torrential downpour that we had, was it 95, 95, 95? <laughs> June 23rd of 95. That's we, the one. We had the 15 inches in nine hours. Yeah. Okay, and where there was a foot of water on US 41 in Murdoch. A and, foot. And we had roads, roads blown out. Oh, 18 yeah. different places. Roads were either blown out or half the road washed out. The tarpon yeah. was swimming across the road in Cape Hayes. And, and then be, be prior to that one, back, uh, if you recall, um, the year of Andrew. Early in the year of Andrew, June 92. of 92. The first weekend of June, we had 26 inches in four days. Yeah, I, I was here 26 for that as well. inches. Imagine that, folks. 26 okay. inches of rain in just four days. I think on, on your, a pool table. I think on your seminars, your on the website or something, we may not have had storm surge, but look at these pictures to, to, to tell you about the water episodes right. that we've had. And, and fortunately, because by and large, well, we, we have much better drainage today, today. than oh. we did. And, and those events were part of the cause of, of the massive work that the county and the state have done to replace what I have long ago called water crossings. They were these little culverts that ran yeah, under the access road. Did you get in a little trouble for that, water crossings? No. Not that uh, one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> not that one. Not that I know of. Uh, but no, they, you know, they're not bridges. They're, they were just, you know, uh, concrete over culvert pipe, you yeah. know. But, but they have Downtown now... Downtown Punta is markedly improved. Markedly. Than what it used to be. Yeah. Debbie well, would argue the, what happened during Debbie, you know, because it doesn't matter. I don't care how many millions they put into 
a system of drainage and pumps or anything like that, when the tide is up, it's got nowhere to go. Exactly. No and that's the, yeah. that's the dichotomy. See, if you don't have the tide up, this place drains better than any place in the world. There's no place drains better with all the creeks and the canals and everything else. But, but as soon as Mother Nature brings the level of the harbor up, you're, you got a problem. And the property owners or the county, the city, wherever you are, do not clean out those culverts. You, oh, oh, absolutely. You, yeah, you can help out. Yes, maintenance goes hand in glove with that. And that's why they built the new kinds of structures that they have that catch much of that debris uh, for much easier removal. And then they can come over and, and from the roadway yeah. and can clean the debris that might be near the outfall where it goes across. I'll just use an example, Olean Boulevard. Or, or Starlight, or Midway, or Gibraltar, any of those places in Port Charlotte, which were our choke points uh, during the 92 and 95 rainfall floods. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what, you know, that's what flood insurance is sold for. Flood insurance is sold, and, and the rates are based on return rates of um, rainfall events, 500 year, 1,000 year, and so forth, all right? They're not, it's not based on hurricane. They do not yet, the flood insurance program still doesn't recognize storm surge, but if that water comes up, it's a flood. instead of down, it's a flood. Good morning.